So to start, I'm going in my bowl with a little bit of lemon infused coconut oil from CG Limited. Next, I'm going in with some green seasoning. I'm going to go in with some annatto powder or uku powder. Some Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning, which you guys know is my favorite seasoning. When you use this, you don't have to use much salt because it does contain salt. I'm going in with some cayenne pepper. And we just want to give this a mix. Here have my fish pieces. I'm just going to pour my marinade over my fish pieces. You just want to massage that marinade onto the fish. And you want to allow this to marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so now to assemble our leaf. So I'm going to use about four leaves because they le these leaves are pretty small and we want it to be big enough to wrap each piece of the fish. So just like this and you're going to take one piece of your fish, place it in the middle and you can put some more of that marinade that you had it marinating in. I'm going to just layer on some onion because I love onions and some tomatoes and you can put whatever you want on your fish and just to season the onion and the tomatoes i'm going in with some cajun seasoning some slap your mama just on top of that and all you have to do now is wrap this and using your toothpick you're going to just Press it in to hold the leaves into place. And that's it. The first one is finished. So I'm going to finish the rest and then we'll move on to cooking. So I have some oil heating up in my pan. I'm going to go in with my fish and we're going to cook this on a low heat. I'm just going to go ahead and give this a flip. So guys, I just put a cover on it because I want to make sure that the fish is cooked properly. So, I, so I'm just going to allow it to continue to cook because we want the fish to be cooked properly inside. Okay, so the fish is finished. When you press against it, it's going to feel firm and that's how you'll know that it's finished. So I'm just going to take them out and put them on my plate. You'd want to remove the toothpicks when you're going to eat it just before you serve. So let me just cut into this so you guys can see. It's a very tender, very delicate. Tons of flavor. Ooh, that smells really good. You guys see? It's properly cooked. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Make it and let me know down below what do you think. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!